the trap. Uh, we appreciate you all. Wonderful game, wonderful victory. Offense, uh, defense collectively, both of uh, both units played great. And uh, it was some highlights when certain men, uh, I think Wade, you're going to hear from him today, Shallow bounced back and, and had a pretty good game and uh, did his doggone thing. Shador, Shador. Um, the offense was phenomenal. I don't know how many yards we rushed for total, but I'm pretty sure it was over 100, um, which is good news. 148, LeJonte Wester, 127 yards, nine targets, eight catches, which is phenomenal. Shepard, four for four. This is all good stuff. Uh, time of possession was pretty much even. Third down conversion, 50%. I'm not mad at that. We played a balanced game. We really did. And I'm proud of the young men. I'm proud of the coaches. They called a phenomenal game, special teams as well. Um, Shallow, go ahead. I'm just here to just say that God is going to test you. And God tested me last week just to see how to respond. You know what I'm saying? Everybody goes through ups and downs. And, um, you know, it, it, it's better for me that I went through the down. It, it made me lock in more, it made me watch all my film maybe just prepared to the, to the highest level that I could to come and uh, contribute to this win. Shout out to the front, the linebackers, they played their lights out. I'm taking the linebackers to State 316 tomorrow. I appreciate them. And, uh, you know, that's just how life go. You're going to go through it. You just got to keep going, keep working, and see it through. I'm proud of you. We weren't worried about you. You know we weren't worried about you. That's the first time they ever saw you going from so they, they attacked you like vultures. That's just, that's just how America is. So. But you're, you're a good coach. I mean, you told them, I play horrible. I got it in me to do better. Be and and yeah. I, I don't think about them that was funny to me is that I said um, somewhat of the same thing in UCLA last year. And they said I threw my team up under the bus. But they didn't say nothing when I said that about my son. Mm. I don't know if y'all noticed, but he, he's mm. the hardest. He mm. might ease up on Shador a little bit, but he's mm. he's the hardest on me. But but him and Coach Livingston, Coach Livingston sent me on that blitz early in the game, built my confidence up, and you know I just you never lost no damn confidence. What are you talking about? Really it's just when you when you send me on a blitz like that, make a play early on. Uh, it's just good coming coming off that we last week. So. Right, any questions for Shallow so you can get out of here? Nick, you go ahead and start us. Um, you mentioned that blitz just today. There was so many sacks from so many different guys. What was the importance of getting downhill and really disrupting the backfield? They just did what they did today. Everybody is capable, and we have a team capable of winning every game. And that's what we went out there and did, just dominate to the coach, and everybody played like themselves today. So, all right, go ahead. Shallow, what does that mean for you guys just defensively as a whole unit to come out and play? Like you guys did after after last week, and you're giving up a lot more than you guys expect to. This this game was the biggest for the team, especially for me. Cause y'all see what they say, just like I see what they say. So it just shows y'all we could go out there and accomplish anything. It's not just on one guy; it's the whole team. When we do our thing, we could whoop anybody. Shallow, right. you said that you were tested. What's your process like when you, when you were tested last week to get back to have a bounce back performance? Just watching film and seeing what I did wrong and critiquing myself the most. I was calling my dad like once a day after practice, just talking about the day, how I'm feeling, how I'm, how I'm seeing things. The like depth to play from. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was, it was football, everything. Football. But you just gotta. You, you needed know, that. You needed that. That just made me lock in and be like, all right, I'm the free safety. Everything should be in front of me. And, and I gotta put the zip lock on the defense. Tyler, go ahead. Sure, I just wanna ask about Colton Hood, obviously he gets into a bigger role today with Travis a little bit limited. I mean, how impressed were you with him to get the pick late? I mean, just going against a, a future NFL receiver. I just need to follow him off, off the field and see what he does so I can do the same thing he do. But he he just played lights out today. You know, he was doing things I've never seen. You know, that, that hit that he had where he picked the dude up, slammed him, I've never seen that before. So that that was good seeing him do that. Jay, go ahead. Shiloh, just how much fun is it to play for Robert Livingston? It's, it's, it's great, you know, having a pro coach come coach you and give you his knowledge and get you ready for the next level. Just thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else for Shiloh? Go ahead, Brian. One more quick. Uh, obviously, Nebraska was not a good game, but since then, three straight, straight dominant road games. The second half of Nebraska was a good game. Right. No, it, yes, it, it started there. Yes, sir. Is there something about being on the road that, that you, know, you guys just started to turn it on you found something on the road? I don't know, but I, I, I like you. I appreciate you because you stuck up for me last week. I seen it on Twitter. I appreciate you, man, but it's just we, when we go out there and play as a team, we're, we're great, you know? 
and he's he's always mad in practice because he knows our potential. And if we if we don't play up to that standard, always mad. Yeah, he's always mad. He's gonna make us restart practice because he knows what we can do. And we can go out here and do this, and we can do that every week. All right. Thanks, Shannon. Thanks, Shannon. Here we go. Let's go. Nikki, you want to start us? Um, coach, this was, you know, as a complete game as we saw against UCF, you guys yes. completely dominated on both sides mm-hmm. of the ball. How did you feel going into this game? How did you see it resemble on the field? Well, my whole thing this week was just preparation and stopping the run and protecting the quarterback. We knew we could uh, eventually get the run going. Uh, we changed backs, of course, just giving everybody a shot. Everybody's got a shot. I think Charlie started, uh, everybody started at least once this year, and I think that's fair. That's, that's fair to do. But uh, the young men responded. I was on them, not just about football, but about life, and especially the seniors getting prepared for life and taking advantage of opportunities that you have right in front of you. And this is a, was a tremendous opportunity to start a run that we want to go upon. So I'm, I'm proud of the young man. I'm proud of the staff as well as the support staff. We got a tremendous support staff as well. I'll ask the same question as Sean Shiloh, but is there something you guys have found with the road that you guys think have bond a little bit differently? Um, you spending time together. Um, we bond re- regardless of, of where we are. Um, I'm not going to say I can't pinpoint it, but we're focused. We focus and we really focus on the little things. We're, the night before the meetings that we have are phenomenal. The walkthroughs are phenomenal. Just the overall focus and the understanding. Sometimes we, we we like to be booed and they say it and all that, and we get that on the road. And I think we're attracted to that somewhat. Seven sacks today, two of them yeah. by a guy we hadn't seen much before. I right. Keaton Wade. Phenomenal. How's he been coming along? For phenomenal. You? Um, I just brought him up before the team. Never complained. Never bickered. Never murmured. Um, never said poor little old me. Uh, just worked his butt off rehab, got himself together. When he got an opportunity in practice, whether it was the, the, the regular team or the or scout team, he went full speed. So guys like that, you got to find a place for them so they could play the game of football. You got to create a package for him so he could be on the field. And he, he got in the package that, that we had for him, and he did what he does. And I'm proud of him because he can play inside and outside. He's very versatile, and he's a great kid. I mean, he does his schoolwork. We never worry about him by being late or missing anything. The kid is always on time, and we're proud of him. Coach, I want to ask about the onside kick that they did to start the yeah. game. Yeah. I mean, was that is that kind of the focus you're talking about, where you guys don't panic in that moment, and then you yeah. make them pay for it with a touchdown? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of disrespectful too. You know, <laughs> to, to start it off like that, like we're gonna get an onside kick because you you're thinking that we're not prepared. We we prepare for a lot of situational football um, throughout the week, especially on Friday. So. Um, hats off to the special teams and the guys up front. We put guys up there that are athletes so they could uh, recover onside kicks or whatever may happen, and that was a surprise. And we're happy that we got it, go right down and score. Was that just a sign that you guys were ready? You were, your team was locked in? Well, you, you're, you're happy that you recovered. You could have went the other way, but we responded tremendously. How about an update on Travis? How's he doing? So he didn't sore, in the second half. banged up. Um, sore and banged up. Travis wanted to play. I don't know if he was quite 100% ready, but a half of Travis is a hole to somebody, so you, you got to understand, but it affects us on, on two sides of the ball. But he went out there and, and, and showed face and tried his best to do what he's capable of doing. But, you know, the first fade we threw to him and he couldn't extend and go get it, and he kind of reacted late, it's not Travis. I said, man, that's not you. What are you doing? Are you okay? And he didn't want to come off the field. You know how he is. But uh, I'm proud of him. The kid is phenomenal. He's a competitor, and he just wanted to play. What was his week in practice like? How much did he even practice? Not much. Or if any, yeah. you know, Travis is the kind of guy you don't worry about on Saturdays. We don't worry about that on Saturdays. Yeah. Brian, just offensively, coach. Uh, obviously, didn't, maybe didn't finish where you guys wanted to, but the way it started. Right. Um, how pleased were you with the way you guys came out? You guys don't always start that fast. Yeah, we we really challenged the, the coordinators on both sides of the ball about the starts, and we showed statistics of our two losses and how we started and the productivity that we didn't have in the two losses that we had in the first half. If you do your homework on the numbers, they're astronomical, lopsided. We are second half, we always play, we're in shape and condition. We always come back and fight hard the second half, but it was imperative that we get out to a tremendous start in the first half and that, that's what we were focused on in practice. We even flipped the practice schedule and changed the way we practiced this week.
you know, usually we go out there, tempo, this, that, we start out with special teams. Thank God, that's when we started every practice with special teams. And they were special today to even get that onside kick. So I think changing the schedule was tremendous for us as well. Coach, speaking about your defense a little bit, mm -hmm. you did uh, average almost 300 yards a game this mm -hmm. season, and you guys held him to his lowest passing yard game in his career. How much does that speak to your defense's preparation? Uh, we have a tremendous defense. I, I like where we're headed. I like where we're going. The main thing is we, we're not who we used to be, but we sure ain't where we want to be. Um, that kid is phenomenal. Um, the belt and receiver is phenomenal. Those kids are the first round draft choices in my eyes. And uh, thank God we were able to nullify that. But it's hard when you don't have a running game to complement that. It's hard on everyone. I think we know that firsthand. But those kids have a phenomenal uh, future. They are phenomenal football players, and I'm, I'm just thankful we got the best of them today. Let me go out and underscore this, too. I thought President Obama is, 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 is everything to me. I mean, I love him. I admire him. I respect him tremendously. But <laughs> I heard what he said. You know, President, I heard what you said, man. Like, come on. Come on. I, I, that's why I really don't get into politics. I'm into people because politicians are they played a political game, and he was here and had to play the political game. So they have two good players. We got more than two good players. <laughs> but uh, you're here, so you had to support that. And what he said, they, they won, what, last three meetings or two meetings, something like that. He did his homework. Somebody gave him some great statistics. But President, come on, man. You're my man. I love you. I appreciate you. But come on, dog. <laughs> God bless you. I, I'm, I still love you. Jay, go ahead. Coach, uh, the offensive line has been under fire a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just to see them go out there only allow one sack and run the ball like they did. Yeah, well, that's something that we focused on as well. And uh, we just got to stop the little mistakes. You know, we, we're having at least three mistakes um, up front, and we got to just eliminate those things. We're showing um, the most penalized group on this team comes from that group, and but because it's, it's five of them in that group. But we got to be a little more disciplined. We really focused on the penalties this week as well, and I think we're minimal. I think probably our best day penalty-wise. I know we got a couple at the end, but that's probably where our, was our best day um, with the, the lack there of affinity, penalties. We got a couple bonehead penalties that was provoked their first score. I think we had a, a necessary roughness with it wasn't called for, and that helped them score their first touchdown. Six for seven, I think. Yeah. Uh, just on a similar note with the offensive line, just throughout the season, you guys have been rotating guys. Yeah. Out. I'm the guard position. Just throughout the season, what's been the importance on Rotating guys, kind of moving out, in and out of the guard. Trying to find that click, trying to find that, that, that fit. It's like when you put a, a key into the ignition, you turn it. Like if it don't work, it ain't, it ain't it one right. So you're just trying to find that mesh, that who works well with others and who could come in on short notice. And you, in this day and age of portal, portaling, you want to kind of keep guys happy as well that can possibly play. You don't want dogs sitting over there on the sideline if they don't get an opportunity to get in the game. I think we utilize seven. Offense eight. I think we utilized eight offensive linemen today that played a, a tremendous amount of snaps, and we're proud of that. Because now offensive linemen that you're recruiting or you're grabbing out of the portal understand there's an opportunity to play like our freshmen. Uh, when we go grab a freshman, we want them to play, and they understand that you can play this game as a freshman here in Colorado. A couple more, Romy, go ahead. Uh, Coach, you say you're not who you were, you're not where you want to be. Did you pass your window? Well, we ain't where we want to be, but we sure ain't where we used to be. So you've already surpassed your win total from last year. You're one yeah, but we still ain't got Peggy straight yet. Yeah, I was going to say, you're one one away from getting Peggy. Yeah, we got to get Peggy straight. Now, we don't want to just get Peggy to a bowl. Now, Peggy got great taste. Peggy's sophisticated. <laughs> She's a lady. So we want to make sure we get her to a nice bowl, okay. not just any bowl. Okay. Yeah. So when you say where you want to be, uh -huh. what is that? Um, we want to win. We, we want to win at all costs. But I value winning differently. I don't want to just win on the field. I want to win off the field. I want to win in the classroom. I want to win in the communities. Uh, you saw that last week. Our kids did a phenomenal job going to support uh, LaJuan. I mean, I want to win in all facets of life with these young men. And that's what, something I think we're on our way to do. I was going to ask you about that moment. You you brought you know a bunch of kids with you to Casey Middle School yeah. last week. Yeah. Why was that important for you to do? Uh, I think, oh, you were important. Everybody's important. I don't demean a announce anyone's importance. I want, especially if there's a problem that we can particularly help solve and bring solvency to. I want peace, man. I want love. I want joy. I want everybody to smile. I want everybody to have the opportunity to to 
elevate in some form or fashion. So getting that letter from the father and reading it and then having contact with this young man and seeing him crying his heart out was, was, was touching. It, it touched me and it provoked me to, to move. And that's what uh, I, I feel like I am, I'm a mover. I mean, I like to move people and, and move people in the right direction. And that's something that our kids, uh, when I saw them over, you know how wonderful that was, man? You know how beautiful that was for, for our team to go support this man, I mean, and they don't know him, I mean, but they understood the message and, and they reacted. And I love it. I love it 100%. That's what it's all about. Two more, Brian, go ahead. Sure, we are talking about some of the guys that got to play today. Uh -huh. who normally don't play. How big of a deal is that for you guys? Because the morale is tremendous when those guys get to play. First of all, a multitude of those guys are on the scouts team, and they're always giving us a look. So they're the guys that are preparing us to go do what we just did. So to get to see them out there and to see Dan finish that, you know, see uh, Braden Keith, I'm super called the two first names, the two, two first names, and to see some of these guys, 3-6 uh, Mafia, you know, I got nicknames for everybody. And uh, I think Opie got to kick, kick off a couple times. I mean, we, uh, and Johnny Appleseed. We call them all, all, you know, our era. We call them all, I make up names, but that's my era. They don't even know who these people are. So uh, I, I'm, I'm happy and elated they get an opportunity to fulfill their dream. Sometimes it's just their dream, man. They just want to run out there in their city uniform. I'm upset that we hadn't gotten Charlie in the paint, though. So I went out there and told the kid, I said, come on, man. Charlie had scored a touchdown. He got one, but he was called back early in his career. I want to see Charlie score. That's what I want. But I'd rather do it at home. I'll take the penalty, too. Last one. Coach, this is an Arizona defense that has played well against mm -hmm. some great offenses this season. For Shador to sit in that pocket and deliver like he did, what does that say to his boys? And we, we have tremendous potential. We have a tremendous offense. We Today we displayed a tremendous amount of balance. The only thing, he didn't protect the ball well. That's what we got to talk about on the sideline. But he's better than that, and I know what he could possibly do. You got to understand, when I'm looking at Shador, and he's 23, 23 to 33, that's not, that's not him. Like, I'm looking at Shador, it's like 29 to 33, you know, no no picks. Like, come on, man, nobody touch your ball. You you better than that. So I'm on him about focusing the in the totality of the game. But overall, offensively, as well as defensively and special teams, I like the product we put on. And Mata was outstanding today. Nate was outstanding. Mark was outstanding today. They almost blocked the punt. I think he put it inside the 10. So it was an overall effort that I'm truly proud of. Can't wait to get on this plane, get our butt back to Boulder. Can somebody give me a weather update? It's, it's not snowing, is it? It's not snowing in the mountains. Yeah, it's snowing up in the mountains. It's snowing in the mountains. Yeah. So, I, but I like to see the snow in the mountains. That's part of the, that's part of what we talk about with, with Colorado. Yeah, so, but, are the mountains covered with snow? Well, no, not covered yet, but I'm sure it's snowing. Yeah, it's cool. It's yeah, cool. We'll get there. We will see it. In if it's floor. if it's below fifth, I don't go outside anyway. We have a wonderful <laughs> indoor. I'm a Florida boy. Don't forget that. God bless you all. I wish you the best. Thank you so much for your support, your love, and your hate at times. But I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for the play.